Hi! Please click our subscribe button and our notification bell to receive notifications on our latest uploads. Thank you. Hi everyone! Welcome to our most essential learning competencies for Mathematics 4, Quarter 1, Week 2, Lesson 2. My topic for today is Ordering Numbers Up to 100,000 in Increasing or Decreasing Order. This is your teacher, Teacher Zaida. To start our discussion, let's read this paragraph. A group of friends decided to save some money to be able to buy face masks for their donation drive. They were able to save 4,105 pesos in May, 3,985 pesos in June, and 4,736 in July. How are we going to arrange the amount of money they were able to save in increasing order? How about in decreasing order? To be able to arrange the monthly savings, we have to compare the digits from left to right. And then, we have to identify which is greater and which is less. Now, by, by comparing the first digits from the left, we know that the savings in the month of June was smallest. And since the first digits in May and July are the same, we have to compare the next digits 1 and 7. Since 1 is smaller than 7, we know that the savings in May is smaller than the savings in July. So in increasing order, we have 3,985 pesos followed by 4,105 pesos and then 4,726 pesos. In decreasing order, we start with 4,726 pesos followed by 4,105 pesos and then lastly we have 3,985 pesos. Okay, don't forget that to be able to order numbers, first, we have to compare the digits from left to right. And then, we have to identify which number is greater or less. And number three, keep in mind that when we say increasing order, it means arranging numbers from smallest to biggest. Again, increasing order means arranging numbers from smallest to biggest. And when we say decreasing order, it means arranging numbers from biggest to smallest. Again, decreasing order means arranging numbers from biggest to smallest. Okay, let's try this. Arrange the following numbers in A, increasing, and B, decreasing order. Our numbers are 34,567, 29,832, 39,106, and 34,591. Now let's start comparing with the first digits from the left. We have 3, 2, 3, and 3. Based on these digits, we can now identify the smallest number. Now, which do you think is the smallest number? Okay, very good. Our smallest number is 29,832. And since we are arranging in increasing order, we start with the smallest number. Now, since the first digits of the other numbers are equal, we have to compare the next digits from the left. We have 4, 9, and 4. Now, based on these digits, we can now identify the biggest number. Now, which is the biggest number? Okay, very good. The biggest number is 39,100. 6. Now, since these digits are the same, 
We again have to compare the next digits from the left. We have 5 and 5. But 5 and 5 are equal. So what do we have to do again? Okay, we have to compare the next digits again from the left. We have 6 and 9. And based on these digits, we can now identify which is smaller. And the smaller number is, okay, very good, 34,567. So we write 34,567 after 29,832. And then we write 34,591. So these numbers in increasing order, we have 29,832, 34,567, 34,591, and 39,106. Now, if we want to arrange this in decreasing order, we have to start with the biggest number. So we write 39,106, 34,591, 34,567, and 29,832. Very good. Did you get our lesson for today? Okay, good job. Are you ready to order numbers? Okay, get your pen and papers ready. Let's do letter A. Arrange the following in increasing order. Number 1, we have 58,324, 58,169, 47,982, and 52,973. Okay, go. Are you done? Okay, let's do number two. My numbers are 21,064, 20,187, 23,148, and 20,942. Go. Okay, ready for number 3? Our numbers are 6,107, 4,578, 11,152, and 9,755. Go. Are you done? Okay, let's do letter B. Letter B, arrange the following in decreasing order. Let's do number 4. We have 31,198, 33,580, 32,421, and 33,572. Go. Okay, are you done? Okay, let's do number 5. Number 5, we have 18,246, 24,561, 19,035, 21,811. Okay, go. Okay, if you're done, don't forget to submit your works to your teacher. Awesome, everyone! I hope you had a great mathematics time today. 
Until next time. Goodbye.